All right, hi everybody. My name is Jay Mackey and I am an artist out of Denton, Texas. Um, I have been a graphic designer for probably over 25 years. Um, I have my, my background is in advertising and marketing. I've owned several businesses, including a martial arts school for over 12 years. Um, I've also owned a, I also still currently own my photography and graphic design business. And most recently I have upped my painting game uh, in the last eight to nine months, and that has gone very, very well. So um, I've gotten a lot of traction really quick, um, and I wanted to use that traction and the beautiful people that are actually taking the time to even follow what I do, but I wanna use that platform, not just for me, but I wanna use it for all artists, because um, to me, I mean, art is amazing, but I'm not going to be the one that says I'm the only artist in the world because boy, that's ridiculous, first of all. But second of all, wow, sharing with people, I've grown friendships, I've grown uh, relationships, I, I, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. So I'm so excited that today I have with me a friend that I have made on Instagram it's super cool that we can do that. I can be so many states apart and have, have made a formed a kind of a friendship relationship. But I want to introduce today uh, Luce Johnson. She is out of Arizona. And I have been following her work for a while. Um, she does, I'm going to just, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I really want her to talk about it. But her work is amazing. She's an, a, a painter. I believe an acrylic painter at this point right now. Um, and that may be, uh, 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 that's one of those things that acrylic is, is not that easy to work with guys. It dries fast. <laughs> so to work in acrylic, you really gotta, you gotta be confident to work in acrylic. Can I tell you that? You gotta be confident to work in acrylic because when it goes down, it's dry kind of quick. Like with oil, you have a chance to like, oh, well, let me push it around like 30 minutes later. You can do that with acrylic. I mean. You got a game plan and you attack a game plan and it, it just either comes out or it doesn't come out. That's just the way acrylic works. I'm an acrylic painter too. A couple of paintings that I have back here are acrylic. This is a mixture of acrylic and, and, and oil. So I really appreciate her talent, but I don't want to talk too much. I do want to thank those folks that are on Instagram. I'm going to do a little peek around. Thank you for joining us here. Guys on Instagram, as always, please feel free to, first of all, um, you know, share our broadcast with your friends who are art appreciators as well, and feel free to ask questions, right? So I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to give you guys the chance on Instagram to ask our artist uh, uh, some questions. So Luz, I'm going to give it to you for a few minutes and just kind of introduce yourself and then we'll pop into some of these questions. Okay, sure. Um, my name is Luz Johnson and I'm a painter. I live in Buckeye, Arizona. Um, so what I'm currently focused on is painting miniature paintings, as Jay said. So I have a few here to show. So this is the size that I typically work in. These are four inch by four inch. Uh, my paintings, they tend to be uh, very bright and colorful. That is what I'm into right now. So the subjects that are paint are still lifes, landscapes, um, animals, um, holidays are centered around holidays, events, experiences, feelings, all of the things that I enjoy. Um, so my Instagram is called uh, Loose Loves Life and it, that's because it's about the things that I love and that's a lot of things. That's the big range of things and that's what my art is about. So it's Loose Loves Life. So it's, that's, that's mainly what I'm focused on right now. Um, I am married and I have a baby. He just turned nine months. Um, so a uh, new mom. Um, and because I'm a new mom and I have a full-time job and I've got all these other responsibilities, uh, I don't have a, lot, a whole lot of time for my art. And that's one of the reasons why I focus on miniature paintings right now. They're quick um, and they're in acrylic. So as Jay mentioned, it dries really fast. And that's one of the things that I like about it. That's what works for me right now with my uh, short amount of time that I have to dedicate on, to painting. I need quick. I need small paintings that I can finish in one to two hours and paint that lets me work through it quickly by drawing fast so that I can do multiple layers on it. So in a nutshell, that's me right now as wow. a painter. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I never really thought about that. Um, it's funny that, 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 that when you hear it from an artist, you think about it more. Like mm -hmm. I've read your handle on Instagram, Loose Loves Life, right? 
-hmm. And I never really, I never really, now that you mention it, it's so obvious that why your work is what your work is. Mm -hmm. um, just, just to hear it from your voice, I think makes so much more like powerful sense to me that, that when now when I look at your work, I, I, I think after I've heard it from you, I think I love your work even more. <laughs> oh, because be, because now I feel what I'm looking at is I'm not looking at like oh well that was just a random choice I feel like that's now like she painted that because there's a there's a piece of her in that there's a passion in that there was a something that a good memory for her or a friend exactly. or a circumstance and mm -hmm. I think that just made your art even more powerful to me so oh, wow okay. That's crazy that I just, just to hear you say it, turned it into that for me. So I think that's why your voice is important, right? I think our, I think our voices as artists, and I'm talking to artists who are also uh, here. Give me one second. I want to make sure that we're not interrupted. Uh, need, I forgot to do my setting. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Ding, ding, ding. Let me not, let me put my do not disturb on and do not disturb. Okay. And hopefully I'm back. Let's see, I don't think I killed it. We just, pa all right, we're back. I put my do not disturb on, we're back. And everybody's still with us. Awesome. Good. Yes. So, so yeah, I think that's why the voice, uh, why I like this platform, because I think when we talk about our art, I think it, I think it, I think it drives, uh, I, I, I think it opens up people's minds to like where we're coming from. And if you already like the art, like, like I already love what you do, but now that I heard where it's coming from, I just love it even more. So uh, anyway, <laughs> I could go on and on about that. I just think that's powerful. So I have a few questions really. Uh, I think for those of you who have caught the show before, you kind of know that we're going to go down a, a few questions, but at the same time, uh, show us as many pieces as you'd like to show uh, uh, whenever you feel like it's the most appropriate. Mm -hmm. I want to open, I'm not, and I'm going to open doors for that for you too. But I'd like to start with this first question. And the first question is, is when did you fall in love with creating art? Like, when did you know that that was like something that you really, really were passionate about? Well, I think I've fallen in love with art multiple times. So like a lot of artists, it started when I was really young. That was the first time. The earliest memories that I have of art are kindergarten, you know, the first time I picked up crayons and all that I knew is that I really enjoyed it. I was playing. I didn't know anything about the art world, art history, the right. art community. I had no outside influence. Um, I just picked up crayons, uh, scissors, you know, anything that was crafty, that's what I was drawn to. And I really enjoyed it. And at some point, you know, throughout the years, I just became known as the artist, the artsy girl in my school. I'm from a small town. Okay. Um, and so people just started making requests. Uh, you know, my classmates, they would commission me to just, can you paint me what you just painted that same rose? Can you do this? Can you do that? And so that just grew and all through school and high school, I, I was the artist. I was always in art class and uh, people would make requests. You know, anytime some, somebody needed something artistic, they would come to me. And so, um, yeah, that, that's growing up, that's what I was focused on, just, uh, just creating. Uh, mainly at that time, I was doing portraits um, in high school and after high school. Um, I was commissioned to do a, a lot of portraits. So I can show you something right here yes. that I have that I found through my old uh, sketchbooks. Um, this is something that oh I was commissioned to so, is that see. pencil? Yes, this is in pencil. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. So I've got that one. Uh, some of these other ones are they're photocopies because obviously I don't. Yeah, have yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at the texture. Mm -hmm. So I have a, a few here. Some I, I did not even save a copy of them, but um, but I. Oh I did my know. word! That's a photograph. <laughs> Is that a photograph? Are you kidding me? These are uh, photocopies of my pencil drawings. So, wow. yeah, so I was really interested when your daughter was on with her yeah. drawings uh, because it took yeah. me back to that time when I was doing Oh, that. she's crazy good. So, yeah. This is amazing. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, so that was my first experience with art in, in school, starting in kindergarten all the way through high school. I just knew that I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And, and I say I fell in love with it multiple times because there's so many different forms of art. And throughout the years, you know, I, I kind of got away from those portraits and I found other paths. Um, I've always done something creative in my life. Um, most recently, I just rediscovered the art world. I've traveled. I'm following other artists. I found this whole community on Instagram. Right. And now I'm, I'm seeing it in a different way, not just as a creator. Uh, yeah. I found my need to create again, but also to collect. I'm appreciating other people's art, what they yes. can do, things that they can do that I can't do that, yeah. you know, it comes from them and their experiences, what they want to share. And I have a greater appreciation for that. So. Yeah, that's that's how I've fallen in love with art. Wow, you know it's funny. It's funny how we all. Um, I know I did the show with uh, David Renault uh, last week, and his answer about finding art was very similar. Like mm -hmm. I knew I was an artist the first time I touched crayons. Mm -hmm. I was like, and and I'm hearing that resonate kind of here, uh, yeah. as well. And that's interesting that you were. Uh, kind of known as an artist in high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, my friend Debbie is here. She'll tell you, I didn't really tell a lot of people or talk a lot about me being an artist while I was in high school. Um, uh, we were in the band together and, um, you know, it was more about just uh, having fun in band. And, and I was, I was artistic in band. I was doing some painting and, and things like that. But um, I just think that's amazing that you let that light shine so early. Because to be honest with you, um, nobody really had a concept of where I was graphically until I got into college and started doing the advertising thing. Mm -hmm. So for you to have uh, let that light shine so early, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have done a little more of that. So uh, it is what it is. But your work is simply amazing. I have never seen your portraits. Thank and you. I was like, oh, I hope she brings some of those. <laughs> that is just truly, truly beautiful work. Wow. That's amazing. I'm going to check every so often because if these guys have a question, I'm going to make sure I get it for you. All right. So uh, let's go with question number two. So who encouraged you the, who, who encouraged you the most? Uh, and there may be more than one, and that's fine. But where did you find – and we can turn this question into – where did you find the most encouragement? You could talk about who, but you could also talk about like, where did you find the encouragement to create art? Okay, well, in those early days when I was just getting into it, trying to, um, you know, finding the, the tools, what I liked and figuring things out, my parents were really encouraging oh, and supportive. Awesome they saw how happy it made me and i also think that they liked the the fact that it kept me busy for hours i would just sit there and draw and draw that <laughs> was uh pre more art supplies you know they said, if that yeah. makes you happen keeps you busy or just that's like sure. pre uh <laughs> pre video games uh, yeah. keep uh -huh. us old school busy mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so they, they were very supportive of that and i think they also um you know we're again from a small town and uh devoted to our church, we're Catholic. And they also really liked the fact that um, I was known as an artist in the community. And so uh, fellow church members would yeah. also come to me when they needed something. And so yeah. that kept me in involved in participating with people in the church. Um, you know, if we would have events and they needed yeah. somebody to do face painting, they'd come to me and I'm like, okay, I've never face painted before, but sure, let me <laughs> try it out or figure it out. And they would provide art supplies for me. So I loved it. Oh, that's the best. Things like that, making signs. Um, I was even at one point uh, commissioned by the priest to uh, hand paint wow. the, the garments for him. Really? In the weekend. Yeah, so that was really cool. And I must have been, I don't know, 12, 13 at the time. Something like that. Yeah. And so I made this really wow. cool little piece for them that I hand painted, you know, some symbology for them. Yeah, yeah right. And that was really cool. And then just other artwork that they would hang around the church. Um, and so my parents loved that about it. They were very proud of me for doing that. That's yeah. super incredible. Um, um, I never really thought about that either, but I, I did like my, I think it was my sophomore year might have been my sophomore year at university. I did a giant mural at my church building mm -hmm. and it went up, it went up a crooked staircase like that and then like that. And you are right, I didn't think about that, that 
there were people that knew uh, mm -hmm. more about what I was doing because of that. And what a phenomenal way for you to be involved in your community as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it's amazing what art really, really does in a community. Uh, I think we underestimate sometimes that art in a community can draw uh, so many people together because art is one of those things like if I don't speak the same language as anybody, then mm -hmm. we could stand in the same room and appreciate the same piece in the same fashion with the same emotions. And, and for you to be able to share that with your community um, and bring your community, I think people who bring communities together um, are definitely living with purpose. Mm -hmm. So that's really amazing. That is an awesome, awesome uh, way to go. And, and kudos to your mom and dad for doing that. I, I have the same story. My mom and dad just really, uh, my mom passed a year, a la not last January, but January before passed. And uh, I never that. really started, yeah, I never really started painting until after she was gone. Mm -hmm. And that's because my mom was a really phenomenal painter. And this is a way for me to remember oh, wow. her. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's really, I think our parents do play a big role. Um, and that's cool that your parents are so devoted to that. Yeah, so um, I, I do have uh, other people that encourage me now that I've picked it up again. So yeah. my husband now is the one that's most encouraging me um, to keep painting. Um, you know, I just made the decision, like, I want to do this again. I started doing it here and there. And he sees how happy it makes me that anytime if there's any ever any stress from work or anything or you know the situation that we're all living right now with this pandemic and yeah. we're all in isolation um you know if he notices any i'm having any sort of weird moves he's like you know what just take some time why don't you just sit down and paint that makes you happy and helps oh you relax and, stuff. and so yeah so i, I he's so encouraging and, and the more and more i do that he says how happy it makes me and, and how i'm sharing it and the, the whole experience is just so uh fun and relaxing and almost like therapeutic for me yeah, so, yeah. that's awesome it's, mr johnson yeah, thank you sir <laughs> keep this woman <laughs> painting we appreciate you yeah my friend debbie says i absolutely did not know about me i did not know until a few years back when you started putting so yeah literally i'm telling you nobody knew nobody knew that's amazing i got another question for you and then let's show some more of your work okay uh when did you decide to use social media to like start sharing with sharing your art with people like what what was where did the where did that come from um i i watch a a lot of YouTube I'm a big fan of a lot of different channels um, but when I started getting back into art I, I of course went to YouTube to find other artists to see what they were doing how they were doing it and stuff and there's a number of them uh, one of them happens to be Jose Trujillo uh, yeah. he's amazing genius um, so yeah. within all of those videos I started hearing you know similar things about um, putting your art out there you know I had this idea from years ago that you had to go the gallery route that that was the only way yeah, and, and i thought so it's sort of very difficult to do um you know and i didn't my career didn't take me that way i went a different path but now that i'm getting back into it i'm, I'm as i'm trying to figure things out i started hearing about you know we're in a different age now we're in social the age of social media we have all of these resources yeah. available to us why not use those to your advantage as an artist right share your art to get exposure and then it just clicked i'm like why why didn't i think about this before it's so right. true that uh a gallery is not the only way it's great yeah. uh, but it is more difficult to go that route and yeah. i have social media i have facebook and instagram and i already have an audience that is interested in what i'm doing and if yeah. what i want to do is art why not share it with this audience that i already have yes of, you know of only a couple of hundred people um yeah. But I started putting it out there, taking the advice of uh, several YouTubers. Um, and sure enough, I found this community on Instagram of great artists that I follow and they follow me and uh, yeah. we're growing together. I'm uh, learning from them and just shaping my style and right. uh, just navigating through art. And, and that's how I, I came across you and uh -huh. um, your artwork and just really, fell in love with that too with with your style 
and I really admire what you do. Um, you know, it's, it's not easy to do. I think everybody has their own abilities and their style. And I admire your style because I'm, I'm not able to do that. You know, if I, even if I try, <laughs> I, I have to do what comes natural to me, but I really enjoy your artwork and, and the artwork of so many other artists. Social media yeah. is such a powerful tool. I, I, I feel the same way about like, when I look at your work, I'm like, that is so amazing. I couldn't do that if I tried. Like I could try to do that. And, mm -hmm. and I think you're right. I, 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 I think the coolest thing about the latest group of people, and we talked about Jose mm -hmm. Trujillo. And by the way, I'm interviewing Jose Trujillo next week, guys, on the 13th. So you want to catch that interview. But um, I think you're right about like, when you start appreciating others people, other people's art, I know the more I started to appreciate other people's art, like yours and several other people, Cajun Ray Lynn, David mm -hmm. Renault, my own daughter. I mean, just so many, those are the people I've interviewed, but there's so many more people. Then, then my art does, I, I think I find my own style a little bit better. I think I find like I am in the right lane and I can mm -hmm. produce things that are just genuinely me and I, and as much as I love this, yeah. um, I'm really having a fun time just kind of dabbling in my own space. So, yeah, I, 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 I think you're right about appreciating other people's art um, in a way. And I think if you're doing it out of um, admiration, mm -hmm. then I think that, uh, first of all, it opens your heart and your mind to, well, I could experiment with that and let's just see where yeah. it goes. And and you may never know where that could take you. We just, in art, we just don't know. Like, like we're free, we're free spirits. I mean, we, we just enjoy uh, the colors and we enjoy the, the clash of a color and the, and the look of a color. And I think where there's passion, um, then there is, uh, you know, people follow. Like I was talking with David last week. You're passionate about it. So people are definitely following you. Hey, I, I would like to see a few more. I'm just looking. All right, we're good. I just like to see if you've got some more of your favorite pieces, I would love to interject those. This is all about like making sure you get people to see your work too. So, and I love your work. So. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. How so long did that take you? That looks beautiful. I don't remember um, several hours. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, so I think this maybe a year and a half ago, this is one of my, uh, first paintings when I started to get back into it. And I thought at the time, this is my small, the smallest I'm gonna go. I was wrong about that. Okay. <laughs> um, but so this right here um, is, so I have a baby and this is at the time when I was going to my ultrasound. Uh -huh. um, so, so this, I took an ultrasound and then just made a representation right here. What? But the story behind this is that prior to our baby that we have now, uh, yeah. we did go through a miscarriage. Oh. And that was just a very devastating oh. experience. So, yeah, I, I took those emotions and put them into this painting. If oh you can word. see right here in the middle, I have our first baby. Oh, and that's kind of a so glow. precious. Yeah, it's, there's a little glow around it. And then yes. all around, it's kind of um, a dark scene. It's kind yeah. of like um, yeah. a storm. Yeah, And so in going through that experience, I later learned that when, when you have another pregnancy, it's known as a rainbow baby because it's the, the rainbow after the storm. So I, I took that oh. and I put it into this painting, you know. Oh my gosh. First baby was a very sad experience that we're never going to forget. But, and, and it was right. hard to process those feelings and in feeling joy for our new baby that we were expecting. It was hard to feel... Uh, hopeful after what we had went yep. through um, right yeah so it's like we're representing the first one and then our next one that we were expecting in a rainbow and just kind of a lot of emotions happening wow that's what i have that's there. amazing i i can i can hear a little bit of how emotional that is even yeah. in your voice a little bit yeah that's beautiful you, you know, you know, like I look, like I said, I see that piece of art. I think I've seen that on your Instagram yeah. and, and I like it. Right. And I love how it looks aesthetically. And then when you talk about it, I just fall like over the giant cliff in love with what it is that you're doing, where Thank you're, you. where you're coming from, how your, how your heart is so connected to your 
to your paintbrush. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I I think I think people, I don't think people. Uh, I mean, you some people show up to Hobby Lobby and they show up to Michaels and they show up to whatever. And they look at certain things and they're like, well, that goes with my room. And I get it, right? But when people buy work from artists like yourself, I think they are getting so much more um, than just a, a piece that fits in their room and works aesthetically. And I think that I, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of believing that people do not just buy art, they buy artists. That is true. Mm -hmm. So I just, oh gosh, I almost like melted on that one. That was just, that was, that was, that was a nice emotional roller coaster, a nice one. And I <laughs> really am glad that you shared that. Wow. Wow. Uh, now, now, now that we've gone to, the, to that as well, I've got an, two more questions. And I'm mm -hmm. taking a look at our time and we're doing just fine. We have like 12 mm -hmm. minutes, so we're right spot on. What is the most important thing you would like for you would like uh, to do with your artwork? Like, if you could if you could wave a magic wand in the air and make something specific or several things specific happen with your artwork in the in in your your small universe in your bigger universe, what what would that be? What what does Loose Love's life's art? What do you want that, to, what do you want to happen with that? I think the most important thing that I want to do with art is just to create it, to make it happen, to take all of these ideas and feelings and emotions that I have and put them down on the canvas, on paper, not keep them inside, but put them mm -hmm. out to really be productive. And um, Jose Trujillo is one of the ones that really pushed me to think that way too produce, you know, uh, show up every day and create something. I want to create a big body of work. I want to put all of these thoughts down and then from there share it as much and as far as I can with people. Um, I want people to enjoy my art. I know there's other people that have gone through similar experiences as me and maybe they can connect with right. what I have to share. So I, I want to make it available to people. So creating and sharing and you know how far that goes i don't know that'll be up to Absolutely. god up to luck, Absolutely. you know what happens with that but i need to make it available first absolutely and 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 correct me if i wrong but it it does sound a whole lot like like that does that does because this does this for me um it sounds a whole like a lot like the pieces that you are creating are also a very, very beautiful and healthy outlet for making sure that your emotions are accounted for. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I relate to that as well. Like, and, and I love that you speak about that because mm -hmm. I think there are some folks that, you know, get caught up in the money game, which is the biggest mistake any kind of, anybody can make in almost literally any business. Because if you're, if you're, if you're doing this for money, it just comes out wrong. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it's forced. It's not fun. It's not a, it, it, it doesn't become a passion. It just becomes a job. And that's one thing I like about Jose as well. He paints so much work and that guy loves every brush stroke. It seems like that he puts on, I know he talks about that. He sometimes doesn't like sometimes he's in a weird place. But uh, I'm glad you mentioned that about just, you, you, you know, your, 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 your goal is to produce a body of work mm -hmm. that others can enjoy. And I have so much respect for you for that. Oh, that is you. just awesome. That is just awesome. Um, I also have a, another question. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think? It, so, so future plans. So talk to me about about if you're producing a large body of work, um, talk to me about your future of how you're gonna expose people to your art. Like, what is it that you, I mean, cause you got the, you got the fate, we all know that social media and all that is the way to go, but there's several ways to do it on social media. There's video, there's uh, talking to people, there's putting your work out there, but then there's also 
you know, do you have local, like, like, like people do local events in their town? Is there art shows? Just, just kind of a gambit of where you think you want to take art. Like, where do you want to take it? Now that you know what you want to do with it, how are you going to get the most people to know that Luce is amazing? Well, right now I'm most active on Instagram. That's the, um, what, what I love to show my artwork on. Um, and people have DM me for, uh, to buy my artwork on there or commission. So I'm available there if anybody wants to connect with me there. Um, but I also did just set up an Etsy account. I'm going to start putting my artwork for sale on there. Um, not only the original artwork, but I want to make uh, make it available at different price points. Um, okay. you know, I'm going to look into doing prints and maybe offer some other items like I have right here. These are tiny little magnets, so these are just a little bit smaller than than a regular canvas. But oh wow, um, I just want people to enjoy art, and if if you're not into buying the original piece, um, you know you have other options. It's a tiny piece of art that you could put anywhere in your office, in your cubicle, something if you want to support the art. Oh. Yeah, um, but I will be selling the original pieces for uh, people that are in, um, yeah. interested in making the investment um, in something that's going to uh, go up in value over time because I, yeah. I am committed to doing this long term. Yeah. I may not always be into miniature work. I'm doing that right now, right. but I, in the future, I do want to do larger pieces, different types of pieces. Yeah. Um, so I, I will have those originals available. I am also, I have gotten several requests for doing YouTube. Um, so I am considering, uh -huh. that, um, um, you know, I am an introvert. Um, I'm more on the quiet side, but I'm going to start with some time lapses. I'm going to start filming, um, my process for these mini paintings and putting them up on YouTube. Um, so all around, it's going to be loose loves life on Instagram, Etsy, and YouTube. So that's what I have coming up. Um, I have also been invited to some local craft fairs. So as soon as this, uh, it's safe yeah. after the pandemic, right. um, I have those, uh, I'm already signed up for those. So I'm, I'm building my body of work to present oh at those gosh. craft fairs and um, my, you know, pro providing other options for people. You know, uh, when people go to craft fairs, sometimes they, they yeah. want something small and um, at a lower price point. So that's, that's what I'm trying to work on right now to um, have these products ready for when that time comes for the local craft fairs. Um, yeah, so those are, those are the short-term goals, long-term. Um, you know, it's, I'm open-minded. I don't know where this might go. Ideally, in my perfect world, I would like to do this full-time someday. Um, I am planning a, a safe route. I have a full-time job right now that I enjoy, I care about. Um, but eventually, I would like to do this full-time to be able to just paint every day and produce yeah. a lot. So I'm planning to, to get there someday. Oh, that's amazing. I, I, I really want to talk to you about the magnets because... Okay. I've never even thought of that. Like, I'd love to take some of my, because my work is, you know, not huge, but I mean, mm -hmm. I've got these bigger pieces, but I, that's amazing. That's a magnet. This is a magnet. Oh my word. All right. Well, guys, I want you to hit her up. Uh, what's going on, Echo? We got Echo in the dark. Kings is on. We got more people. So um, if you guys want to hit loose up for, uh, I know I am. My gosh, I didn't even think of that. That is genius yeah. to, 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 to give people a taste of your art by taking something that, you know, maybe they don't, to your point, want a canvas. Maybe uh -huh. they may, I mean, there are some refrigerator monsters out there that go, it's like refrigerate, decorating your refrigerator is almost a whole nother, like, level of of art for people like they take i've seen some people who take their refrigerator and how it looks like my wife literally i'm looking at it right now it's in a it's in a certain order with a certain design <laughs> on it with the right kind of magnets and that is just i cannot believe that i did not think of that mm -hmm. yeah so guys uh, oh my we're, god we're in an office in cubicles i see people decorating their cubicles uh, with things oh that they uh, all of these uh, metal surfaces where they put pictures yes. and they put magnets to hold it up or you know, places that they go to things that they love they will have these collection of magnets so that's where I came up with that idea where I can make my art available to people again at, at different price points right 
Oh my gosh, guys. So you got to follow, uh, you got, hey, what's up, Joanne? Welcome. Got a lot of people jumping in now. Awesome. So I want to leave the last 10 minutes and I'm definitely going to follow up with you on the, on the magnets. So Luce loves life, guys. You're going to check out my, my Instagram. I've got her name in a couple of my stories already. So make sure you click on her. Everybody who comes to this show, I'm hoping will follow everybody else. Um, and like everybody else's art, that's what this is for. So please follow Luz. And she's got some ideas that I need to pick your brain for because that is just genius. And I wouldn't really, I wouldn't even really know like locally where the best place, I, we're going to talk. That's just, okay. sure. <laughs> if you're, if you're okay with that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. So um, I wanted to, uh, uh, like I said, Take the last few minutes uh, for everybody to, you guys have any questions for Luce, like I said, feel free to ask questions on the, uh, on the Instagram live over here. I'm looking at my phone for those that can see this here. I'm staring at my phone. I try to keep it out of the shot because it looks ugly. But um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask a few questions. Um, I do know, I want to ask you this. Okay. Um, I mean, do you do you uh, do you also have uh, other family members that are artistic in your family? Are you kind of the artist in your family? Do you have other people also or? Um, yes. Uh, so my brother is artistic. Um, he also did a lot of uh, pencil portraits in high school. Wow. Um, I think he's much better than I am. So. <laughs> Is that an older brother or younger? Uh, older brother. So he okay. does a lot of uh, like calligraphy. Um, yeah. So growing up, we were always drawing. We were into art and always in yeah. art class and subscribed to art magazines. And so we kind of helped wow. each other out there. Wow. I, I'm starting to, I'm starting to, now my, my business mind is clicking mm -hmm. and I'm starting to smell that if you guys did a few collaborations, I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking I need to be your manager. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I'm just joking, but wow, that sounds amazing. So you, so you had a pretty cool influence then, uh, even coming up young and being like, that's mm -hmm. really cool. And, 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 and that's awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. My mom yeah. was the only, you know, real person in, in our family that was a painter, but in my, my married life, my wife is a painter. She does um, a watercolor. My mm -hmm. daughter is a pencil artist. My other two are painters, but they're very shy about their art. So um, that's really cool that uh, your brother is also an artist. That's super yeah. awesome. Yeah, well, he did it a lot when he was younger, um, but he's a lot more outgoing than I am. So okay. um, I was the one that uh, um, was working on my artwork a lot more at home, you know, to myself, whereas yeah. he did it every now and then, and he was yeah. really good at it, but he had a lot of other interests, more social. <laughs> so right. he, didn't, uh, he was not as committed to it, even though he was, he's really talented. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, we've, we're getting close to the end here. <laughs> um, is there any last thing? The last thing I want you to make sure, and I know you've done this a little bit, if you had any more pieces, we would love to see them. I literally love the, the, I think you did an Instagram where you put a whole bunch of your pieces like out oh, all together. Yeah. Oh, it was just amazing. <laughs> I, I just wanted, I mean, it, it, it just looks so good. So every time you bring one up like this, I'm like, if we could just keep a slideshow of you doing this over and over again, I would be happy. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. So this is a Jack rabbit. Um, they are very common here where I live. I actually live on Jackrabbit Trail, it's called here. Nice. So I see a lot of these. And this one was actually selected from, I had a giveaway. And the winner chose this one. So this one's going off to England, which is really exciting. What? Yeah. England? Yes. Oh, my word. I have and not so, shipped anything out of the States yet. <laughs> <laughs> and with my artwork, again, I... Um, focus on things that are around me that I love. So I'm in Arizona. I see a lot of these landscapes, beautiful sunsets. I have tons and tons of pictures and um, you're going to be seeing a lot more of these if you follow me. So just Arizona landscapes and sunsets. Um, let me see what else I have around here. Places that I travel to. This is a volcano in Mexico near my grandmother's house. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I love that. Yeah, that. So again, just things that I love, travel, uh, landscapes. Uh, I'm very much into, uh, let's see, the, the zodiac and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And astrology. So I'm going to be doing a whole series. This is probably the smallest that I have here. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've got some, and some little frames here. Oh, I love the frame. Thank you. Yeah, wow. That almost looks like a watercolor. It looks so good. This is acrylic, and this is a, a park that we used to visit at one of the places that we've lived around in Arizona. Right. Um, so again, just a sunset and a lake and palm trees. Oh my trees. gosh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I just want the eternal slideshow to never stop. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just... It's I okay. just am I so impressed. Here, so. See. There we go. Another beautiful sunset. Wow. That is awesome. So, so the last question, I'm going to squeeze this in real fast. Do you, have, do you have your own artwork hanging in your house? I have a few pieces. Okay. So the ones that are more personal to me, I have those hanging around the house. So um, here's my son's feet he must have been maybe a month old when That's i painted this. and and this is me attempting to do a more uh, looser style of painting yeah. impressionist which i love but i have a difficult time with I love it so this is what i have uh, that's hanging love around it. the house uh here's another very personal one of when we brought the baby home to meet uh -huh. the puppy love and it my husband introducing our our puppy oh <laughs> This is what I have hanging around. And I am starting a collection of art from other artists. Um, yeah. You mentioned earlier how important it is uh, to share your story or yeah. that you, you, you have a better understanding of my work by me speaking about it. That's so right. um, I do follow a lot of artists on uh, Instagram and YouTube and you're exactly right. Just getting to know them, hearing it from their voice, yeah. why they painted what they painted makes me love the art even more. It so does. I am starting a, a collection and that's what I'm going to be displaying around my house. Also. Oh, that's so cool. I'm planning a, a gallery wall. That's so cool. I, I think we need to do an art swap, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Yes. I would I'd love, love to, to as well. I All right, guys. Well, oh, I would, one piece. <laughs> I would love that. Well, one more time, Luz, tell everybody your Instagram handle. It's at Luz Loves Life. All right. And that's L-U-Z-L-O-V-E-S-L-I-F-E, -E, yes. right? So at, you guys follow. Uh, Art Pasoli, welcome. Van, welcome. We got a lot of people coming on. Please send me her handle info. So Van is asking. Van Anderson, love this guy. I'm going to send him uh, your uh, Instagram handle um, at Luz, L U Z, loves, L O V E S, life, L I F E. Um, yeah. You've got to follow Luz. You've got to give her some love. I can't tell you how much fun I had today. Um, I knew you said you were shy, but man, this was a killer interview in my book. So I, I think you killed it. I think you killed it. I think you knocked it out of the park. I think you gave a voice to your art. Uh, your art is already so beautiful, and I think you just made it more beautiful just by talking about it. So thank you so um, much. I hope you get it. I I so look forward to. I don't care. You could paint it on a rock. I don't care what you paint mm -hmm. loose. It's going to be beautiful, and I can't wait to see where your where your where your direction goes and what it is that you're doing. So thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. this. Everybody Absolutely. Back hey, back stick again. around. I'm going to cut the Zoom off, okay. but I'm going to keep the live going for a few minutes. Okay. So guys on, on YouTube, thanks for checking this out. Share it with your friends. Make sure you guys follow Luce. She's going to be kicking it on YouTube and some different places. So make sure that you follow. Give her some likes. Definitely jump on Instagram where she's smashing it right now. And uh, give her a little bit of love because uh, this is a, a, an artist with passion and you do not want artwork that does not come with passion. I'm telling you, you do not. You do, I mean, store-bought art, store -bought artwork is good, but Luce even said it, original paintings go up in value. So artwork is an investment. It's one of those things definitely that uh, is an investment and you can pass it down through generations. So mm -hmm. definitely good stuff. Again, Luz, thank you so much. Stick around a little bit, and I'm going to end my recording here. So wave bye to everybody here, and we will <laughs> we'll cut this one off. 
So I am going to 